good afternoon. Uh, my name is Michael Fisher. I'm the director of admissions here at South Point Catholic. And this is our lunch for the Lancers, um, specifically talking about fine arts. A lot of parents have already contacted me that they can't make this meeting um, today, but that they are very interested in our fine arts program. And that's why we're very happy to have Ms. Dana Milney here. Um, she is our theater director um, and has been here for a, for, for a while. And she will give us uh, a great look at the uh, fine arts program here at South Point. And then once again, uh, before I pass it over to Ms. Milney, um, for more information on everything that we do, um, you can always go to our website. So here's our website, specifically the arts page. And so if you have any questions about the arts at South Point, if you have questions about, um, if you have questions about the visual arts, about the performing arts, or um, any of our faculty members. Um, all their information is right here to the right. Um, and so please feel free to, to reach out, contact them with any questions that you may have, and I'm sure they'll be more than happy to help. So, um, so I'm gonna pass it over to, to Dana, and she will take you through the fine arts here at South Point. Hi everybody, I'm Dana Milney. I uh, have been here at South Point for 16 years was the drama teacher for a long time and now I'm the um, artistic director for the Corcoran Theater. South Point has just amazing things to offer your students in the way of fine arts. Um, I think I'll start with visual arts. Um, we have some outstanding new spaces for 3D art, uh, which works uh, primarily with clay and then other um, uh, natural uh, elements. Um, they're doing a lot of things. They did a lot of things as we were building with the uh, cardboard and um, found objects, uh, you know, desert objects. Um, so uh, we have a fantastic teacher, Allison Murray. Uh, she's amazing, and she's very good with uh, the students. We also have Bettina Fink doing 2D art. Um, they offer introduction, intermediate, advanced, and AP. Um, taking you through all of the basic elements through um, really creating a um, definitive design concept for artwork. Um, wonderful stuff that they're doing um, in beautiful spaces now too. We have um, in performing arts band that does jazz band, symphonic band slash orchestra, marching band, drum line, and I think that's it, but that's an awful lot. So whether your student is uh, unfamiliar with an instrument or whether they are a, an accomplished musician, we have a place for them and uh, hope that they will learn and grow with our magnificent band teacher, um, Jim Howell. Um, he started out with our marching program last year and is really working to develop it, however, um, there have been some impediments to marching this year, uh, namely COVID. <laughs> so hopefully uh, they will continue to grow and be incredibly proficient on the field as they always have been, as well as in the classroom. In uh, dance, we have three levels of dance, beginning, intermediate, advanced. Um, they usually put on performances twice a year, uh, once in the winter and once in the spring. Simone Jolivet manuel is our dance teacher. She's amazing. One of the best choreographers in the city. I really firmly believe that. Many of the professional theater companies in town use her also as their choreographer. She is um, a genius uh, and uh, your student will do very well under her, under her tutelage. In um, choir, we also have three levels, uh, intro, intermediate, and advanced uh, with Miss Natalie Hall. She's uh, young, vivacious, and incredibly gifted in her um, teaching methodology, and developing our choirs to be uh, proficient also in every venue where they perform. And usually there are quite a few. However, this year um, it's tapered back uh, due to the difficulties with singing. Uh, in public, but they are doing really well. Uh, you may have heard them lately singing um, a recording of them singing the national anthem at some of our games, and they sound fantastic. Great harmonies, um, 
they're doing a good job. Then we have performing arts with drama. We're waiting for our new space. Uh, the theater will be absolutely amazing. Your students will be um, in awe, actually. The technology that we have in the theater, uh, we do teach technical theater, is uh, first class uh, with um, Midas soundboards and um, ion lighting equipment and LED lighting. Um, Cell Point has um, made sure that our students are going to be well equipped to you know, work with the best equipment uh, in the industry, uh, which is quite a blessing. Um, we have beginning, intermediate, advanced theater, drama. The beginning and intermediate classes um, are working on foundations and then developing um, some competitive material with that. And then our advanced students put on a, a couple of plays a year. They do a dinner theater, they do um, uh, one acts. We compete at a one act festival every year. And then we have after school theater for any student at South Point who would like to be involved. So there's an awful lot of art happening. We like to think that the new buildings are really keeping art in the heart of the campus because we really do believe in that holistic approach to education and arts are such a magnificent piece of that, really utilizing um, you know, different areas of the brain for creativity and working as an ensemble, working in a group, um, really key critical thinking skills that we believe um, will assist our students in being the best that they can possibly be in any venue where they happen to be working or participating. I think uh, with that happy note, I will turn it back over to Mike. I think I got everybody, Mike, I, I hope. Um, I forgot to mention Erica Quintero is the new drama teacher and she's magnificent as well. Um, Mike? Yes, I am back. Um, so once again, Dana, thank you for a great overview of our arts department. Um, I really appreciate you being here. And families, um, just so you know what, what Dana is talking about in terms, of our, in terms of our new building, I'm gonna kind of give you a quick look at um, what the outside of the building looks like um, what the uh, interior of the building will look like as well. And, um, and I just want you to take a look at it, but just know that we will be, you know, offering an on-campus open house where you can actually uh, physically tour on um, these great facilities. And we will be having a virtual uh, tour as well that'll post to our website. So you can actually, if you aren't able to come down to campus and walk through it, or you just want to go through um, more areas in, in, in a little finer detail, you can. So I'm just gonna kind of take you through that here. Um, but again, everything can be found on our webpage. Um, so right here, we're just on the arts um, and, and all the faculty members that Dana talked about, uh, Allison Murray, Murray, our department chair, uh, Bettina Fink, Natalie Hall, every, everybody's right here to the right. And then, um, and then there's just more specific information about, let's just go to visual arts, really quickly, and you can see all of the curriculum that we offer in these areas, um, not only in visual arts, but performing arts as well. Um, our, our, our fine arts department does a fantastic job, and with the new uh, Stern Center for the Arts, um, you're gonna see it all over the place. Um, this is uh, you know, really at the center of our campus, and so we're really, really proud of this new space. And I know some of you do wanna see this. Um, so uh, for the Stern Center of the Arts, here's a campus map. I know this is not exactly you know, how you wanted to see it, but again, it's just what I'm able to do. So if you look at our campus and in terms of our academic side of the campus, um, so you can kind of see uh, where you know, our entire campus, all of, all of our 44 acres, our student center is kind of the center of campus um, right here, um, but our new center for the arts is right here. And, and we couldn't be, uh, and we couldn't be more proud of that. But really, I'm going to jump back over in our Aspire campaign. So this is our Aspire campaign. This is our new Center for the Arts, opening for the 2020-2021 school year. So this is a better look at the outside, and you can see this is construction. Um, it actually looks a lot better now. This was this was a few weeks ago, um, but you can kind of see how our Center for the Arts is broken up. 
And again, we're really, really proud of this area. Um, and uh, so this is this is from uh, Copper Street right here. And, and um, this area right in here is our theater. Um, we have our band room, dance room, uh, art rooms as well. We have a 2D art space and a 3D art space. So two different rooms. Um, and right over in this area, this is going to be Dana Milne's favorite space on the entire campus. Uh, because this has not only our, our area for costume storage, and we have so many costumes, we actually need to make this space bigger. So we got to figure out how to fit more costumes in there. We're going to have our own theater tech workshop. And I know Dana talked about our theater tech program just a little bit, um, but that is a way for kids to learn about uh, lighting and sound and, and stagecraft and all those other things that happen behind the scenes. And we actually have two different classes in that. We have a beginning and an intermediate theater tech class, and we're both very proud of those. And those can all be found in this parts of the building. And then up at the front of that is our 3D art uh, studio as well. So again, this is our new center for the arts. Um, and we can't wait to have you on campus so we can show you all of these great facilities um, here. And again, I'm just gonna jump over to another part. I'm gonna jump back over to the arts page. And so again, um, and I know we just had some families um, arrive, but I'm gonna jump into the performing arts. So if you're interested or your students interested in our performing arts, our curriculum, everything from our, our theater program to the productions that we do, to the band program, to the choir program, dance. I mean, we offer a ton of things and all of our teachers contact information can be done, can be found on the right hand side. And if you actually wanna see something, um, that we have. Uh, jump over to admissions, our virtual open house, and under the videos, and they're going to load up, you can watch a quick video about our fine and performing, our, our fine and performing arts, um, or our STEM program, our humanities program, or just jump online and, and look up South Point uh, Arts, and you're going to see some great videos as well on there. And uh, we're really, really proud of this program. That's why we want to give them this time uh, to, to show you and to talk just a little bit about what this program has to offer. But just like any performing art, just like any fine art, we want you to come to campus and see it yourself. That is the best way to do it. So again, uh, you know, when it comes to the arts, the best way to see everything is to, to actually come on campus and see it. Uh, my family and I watched Hamilton a bunch over the summer a few times. And while that was great to see on Disney+, Plus. Uh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, I can't wait to see it in person. Um, so, uh, so that that's why you're going to really want to come and see uh, our our spaces at our on campus open house uh, coming up. Um, if you do have any questions, please type them into the chat. But thank you very much for coming today to to our fine arts presentation, uh, uh, Dana. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I really appreciate you being here and uh, sharing with us uh, what the fine arts has and our great instructors uh, that we that we have here as well. So thank you very much for being here. I got to tell you, it was a pleasure. And it's so easy to talk about something that uh, you love and are passionate for and that is so well supported here on this campus. So please come look at our new buildings. They are absolutely amazing. I hope you uh, like them. Oh, Dana, a question just came up while I have you here. Does the orchestra include piano? Can you talk about our string program? Sure. Uh, yes, the orchestra does include piano. We just got a brand new grand. Um, it is fantastic. Um, usually uh, we have more than one student who wants to play the piano. And so they may switch out uh, within a, the performance uh, window uh, that we have for that. Um, but yeah, we do include piano. All right. Thank you so much. Another question that just came in, Dana, how many theater shows are put on a year, on a normal year? Non-COVID year, normal year. Uh, in a non-COVID year, we <laughs> put on um, two main stages and four other shows, a dinner theater, um, uh, two one acts. We have done a radio show in the past. Um, and then we also compete um, uh, with the Arizona State Festival, the Southern Arizona Festival, and uh, we travel to the International Thespian Festival in uh, Illinois. 
and take about 30 kids every year uh, or however many qualify, but we had 32 qualify last year. There's an awful lot of theater going on all the time for both students in class and students who don't have that um, luxury in their schedule. So um, yeah, we do a lot. <laughs> yes, we do. Um, another question, uh, can a freshman learn a new instrument? Absolutely, yes. We have uh, lots of instruments, uh, pretty much anything you wanna play. Um, we have, have them for, uh, we loan them out. Students are able to take them home and learn on them. Uh, additionally, you've asked, does theater tech include lighting design? So the intro to theater includes, or the intro to tech includes a lot of design work um, where we actually use one of the one acts for the students to uh, learn how to design either lighting or sound or sets. Uh, and so they can choose where they would like to focus. And then hopefully as the program begins to grow now that we have the facilities, we'll be able to have those students um, working uh, lighting design for the main stages as well. Thank you very much. And just again, to any parents um, that do have a specific like music question or a dance question, um, all of our faculty can be found right on our website under the arts. So Jim Howell is our uh, music director. He does a great job. Um, Simone Joviet is our dance director. She does a great job. And that is, uh, and, and, that, and that's there. Um, another question, during non-COVID years, yes, we, we are looking ahead uh, to, to, to other years, um, are full theater productions put on? Um, so Dana, uh, why don't you go over some of the theater productions that we've done in the past? And we do put on full shows. So last year we were in the middle of Adam's Family, ready to go up over at the Burger Center and uh, didn't have the opportunity to finish that out because of COVID, but that was one of the shows that we were working on. We've done Thoroughly Modern Millie, High School Musical, Guys and Dolls. Um, I don't know that we're going to get to Hamilton. I don't know uh, about our rapping skills, <laughs> but... Um, we do put on one musical every year. Frankly, sometimes I wanna do two. Um, uh, hopefully we will get there at some point. Uh, we also do probably one um, comedy, usually in the, the fall. We did Leading Ladies, uh, I've done Moon Over Buffalo. Um, I've been here six Noises years. Off was a great Noises one. Off, yeah, um, there've been a lot of shows. <laughs> and, <laughs> They're, they're really wonderful. You know, our student actors rise to the challenge and the expectation is that they will perform brilliantly. And um, I may be a little biased, but I do believe that they do. Theater students are encouraged. Somebody just asked if students are allowed to suggest and or write theater productions. Yes, um, they are encouraged to suggest. Um, there are a lot of, um, I guess, elements that we have to look at um, for what shows we're going to put on. Usually we're trying to find shows that have as many students as humanly possible um, because we want as many students to be able to participate as we can. We think that theater is just an incredibly valuable um, tool uh, for life, actually, um, in getting to work as an ensemble, uh, you know, working on your individual contribution in a group. There's all kinds of wonderful things that people learn from theater. Um, they are allowed to suggest, uh, they have to think big. Um, writing theater students are encouraged to write. Um, I think at some points, depending on where we are in the curriculum, as it rotates kind of every couple of years, we do do a like a 10 minute play writing uh, activity. I know that's also encouraged in our English program. They're doing that right now over in creative writing. Um, so yes, um, we do, uh, I, we, we haven't produced, uh, anything that a student has written. Um, but then again, I haven't received very many scripts. Um, but you will see, uh, not only our, our families at theater events, our current families, our former families, you will see me and my family there. My daughter loves, uh, the dance performances and, and the, the musicals especially. Um, and by the way, Dana, um, last year, Leading Ladies, I thought was fantastic at the Burger Center. Um, they did uh, they did a great job there. Um, so another question, how many extracurricular classes are encouraged to take um, 
to flourish in the theater. Um, and Simone is thumbs up. Yes, she is. <laughs> Um, I would say I want your child to take all theater classes. Not really. Um, uh, we encourage kids to take at least uh, a couple. Um, the more you practice it in the classroom, the better you're going to get. However, we also like our students, especially those that really want to pursue theater, to be more uh, well-rounded. And so we encourage the dance classes. We encourage vocal lessons. We encourage choir. Um, so. Your student, I believe, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, please. Um, I think there are seven elective credits. Um, one fine arts requ is required, one fine arts class, and that can be visual or performing. Um, we would like them to take more. Um, and hopefully, if even if they can't be in the theater classes, uh, encourage them to participate after school because there's an awful lot of learning that takes place when you're one of you know 35, kids on a stage uh, trying to dance and you're six feet. So, so let me just jump in here. So um, our graduation requirements require one full year of, of fine arts credit. So um, usually that's two semester long classes. And we really try and get our freshmen into those um, their first year. So all of our incoming freshmen, when you come into registration, um, you're going to see the list of electives that you can choose from. And the, the primary focus is actually into the fine arts. Um, and so we'd love kids to take an intro to 2D art class, which is drawing and painting, intro to 3D art class, which is sculpture and ceramics, intro to theater, theater tech, um, intro, introduction to dance, um, our orchestra class with uh, Jim Howell, our music uh, director. Um, we have a uh, marching band and a, and a lot of different classes. And again, just to kind of get them into that spirit. And um, usually one of the questions that I get from, from parents, especially if they don't know a lot about the fine arts or, you know, hey, what if my kid doesn't start off in the fine arts and come their sophomore year, they really wanna join the theater program. How do they do that? They've never taken a class like that before. And we've had kids that come to South Point that um, might take intro to theater freshman year, might be totally involved in athletics sophomore year, and then, and then junior year, the theater bug just kind of strikes them. And so um, we've had kids, that have jumped in. Um, one of our runners uh, did Noises Off. I think it was his junior year, Dana. And he did an absolutely great job and then wound up running cross country the next fall. So there's a lot of different things to do um, at South Point. There's a lot of great programs and there really is something for everybody. And what I always remind parents and kids is that it's four years. You have four years uh, of, of life ahead of you to, to really look at the different things and, and hopefully you can find something that really, you know, is something that you're really passionate in doing. And if you don't, hopefully you try everything that you can um, because there are so many great opportunities here. And then if you do have any questions, you can always contact me at the admissions office or uh, Dana or any of our other fine arts teachers or any faculty members on the campus. And we'll be happy to answer all your questions. So Dana, thank you so much for being here again. And thank you everybody for showing up. And for those of you who are viewing this online, hopefully this was helpful. And we uh, hope to see you on campus at one of our uh, on-campus events and open houses that are coming up in the future. So please check into the website and we'll be sending email reminders out. Um, so thank you everybody for being here at Lunch with the Lancers. And I will uh, be closing this session. So thank you very much. Bye-bye everyone.